Hello chess lovers, I have a very interesting game for you with a dramatic finish. This was a computer match and Schroeder is playing against Gaul. The game was played in 2013. Schroeder started with d4 and d5 by Gaul. c4, c6, we see the Slav defense, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, d takes c4 and a4. By playing a4, white is acting against black's b5 and is preparing e4 followed by bishop takes c4. Bishop g4, this is the Steiner variation, e4, bishop takes f3, damaging white's kingside, g takes f3, of course you can't capture on f3 with the queen because your pawn is hanging, that's why we see g takes f3, e6, rook g1, the rook is instantly occupying the g file and still is not allowing black bishop to develop, queen c7, e5, knight d5 and bishop captures on c4, knight b6, Bishop b3, a5, controlling the b4 square and now the black knight can find a perfect outpost on b4 square. Bishop e3, knight a6, queen e2, we see castling queenside by both sides, g6, and both players are moving their kings to a safe squares, knight e4, now white knight will try to exploit the weaknesses of the dark squares, bishop e7, Bishop h6, rook d7, and a very ambitious move by Shredder, knight d6. Allowing black to capture on d6 and after e takes d6, rook takes d6, Shredder plays bishop f4 and we see this beautiful pin on h2, b8 diagonal, knight c8, queen e5, of course white is not hurrying to capture the rook, rook d8, Queen g7, now this queen is starting to look for some weaknesses, h5, rook c1, and the knight finds its place on b4 square, bishop g3, b6, rook d1, king b7, bishop e5, rook d7, f4, actually black's position is very solid and going for a breakthrough is very difficult, but after queen d8, Schroeder decided to play f5, going for a pawn sacrifice, e takes f5, opening up the e file and now white will try to use that file, and white is capturing on d6, knight takes d6, f3, controlling the e4 square, not allowing this knight to jump on e4, f4, actually it turns out that this is a pawn sacrifice and black is opening up the f5 square for the knight, Queen e5, knight f5 and white is capturing on f4, but in return black is capturing on d4, knight takes d4, bishop c4, king a7, h4, c5, rook e1, rook b7, rook c1, f6, rook c3, g5, and after h takes g5, f takes g5, black is getting a very strong passed pawn on h5, queen e5, rook d7, Queen e4, h4, queen g4, and a dubious decision by Gal rook e7. And it turns out that actually this is a strategical mistake. Maybe it was better to find some attack on the queen side or think about pushing this pawn further. But we see rook e7, and after rook e4, black plays queen e8, also attacking the pawn on a4, but Schroeder plays a very provocative move, rook e3, and after rook takes e4, rook takes e4, Gaul is capturing on a4. Now if we have a look at the position, looks like that white is in trouble, actually right now black is threatening queen d1 checkmate, and of course if you play rook e1 covering the first rank then simply queen c2 check, winning the bishop and it smells like that white is getting checkmated, but after queen a4, Shredder pulled off a brilliant swindle, you can pause the video and try to find the best continuation for white. One of my viewers says, I always get those post the video moments right, because I just guess it's the boldest sacrifice in its position, and I'm always right in my well, actually you are right, but first white is playing rook e7 check, 
And after King B8, here comes that boldest sacrifice which you mentioned in your comment, Bishop B3. Now if black won't accept the sacrifice and plays queen c6, then simply queen takes g5. The threat is queen g8 check followed by rook e8 winning the queen. If queen c8, then queen e5 check followed by rook e8. Again, white is winning. Or after bishop b3, black actually captured on b3 with a knight. But if queen takes b3, then rook e8 check. If king c7, then rook c8 check and... White is just winning in this position, white goes for this beautiful king hunt and it's over, black king is in trouble. There it goes, we see a checkmate. But after bishop b3, not suspecting anything, gull captured on b3, right now there is a threat of checkmate in one. But white is actually continuing his series of sacrifices, here it comes, queen f4 check. This is very important to sacrifice the queen on f4, because after g takes f4, this pawn can no longer move. And there it goes, the white rook becomes a mad rook, white played rook b7 check. Gal played king c8, well if a move like king takes b7 and this is a stalemate, white has no legal moves. And after king c8 we see rook c7 check, king d8, rook d7 check, king e8, rook e7 check. This desperado rook is just chasing black king and after king g8 draw was agreed. Because whenever black accepts the sacrifice then this is a stalemate. Actually if the queen were on b5 square then again. This would have been a stalemate because these knights are just controlling these four squares and not allowing white king to move. What a turnaround in this dramatic game. I hope that you enjoyed this beautiful finish. Waiting for your comments and questions. Good luck.